Pray, good people, be civil. I am the Protestant whore. These are the words of this lady, Nell Gwynn. Pretty witty Nell was perhaps the best known and remembered mistress of King Charles II. In her early teens, Nell sold oranges at the King's Theatre. With her natural wit and complete lack of self-consciousness, she caught the eye of actor Charles Hart and became his mistress. He became her Charles I. She then passed to Charles Sackville, Lord Buckhurst, who became her Charles II, and then the King, Charles II, who became her Charles III. She was one of many mistresses of Charles II, because like any good monarch in history, he had plenty. There were 13 in all during his lifetime, but she was the least greedy of them all. When he lay dying, he begged his heir, the Duke of York, not to let poor Nellie starve. The rivalry between Nell and the other mistresses made the king's life difficult at times. Lady Castlemaine had been the king's mistress for many years when he became enamoured with Nell, but we'll have more about her in another video coming soon. But anyway, Charles had 13 children by these ladies and agreed to support the children he believed were his. He had doubts about some of Lady Castlemaine's children, as he had caught her in a compromising position with John Churchill, later Duke of Marlborough. Lady Castlemaine's last child was born in 1672 and was acknowledged to be Churchill's. Other ladies came and went. Moll Davis, also an actress, had a child by the king. The child was known as Lady Mary Tudor. She was given a house in Suffolk Street and a ring worth £600 by the king. That was before she fell from favour. But Nell was not greedy and grasping like her rivals. But she did receive a house near Pall Mall, and when she first knew the king, she asked for just £500 a year. Charles gave her a pension of £4,000 a year from rent in Ireland, and later another £5,000 a year out of the Secret Service Fund. Towards the end of 1669, Nell withdrew from the stage because she was pregnant. The child was a boy. And unlike Charles's other mistresses, Nell never received a title herself. But by using some clever tactics, she obtained a title for her son. Come here, you little bastard, she is reputed to have said to her small son in the king's presence. The king was horrified. But as Nell asked, what should she call him? Was not bastard true? The king immediately made him Duke of St Albans. When the king died in 1685, Nell's creditors descended upon her. She never did starve, but was in grave danger of being sent to debtor's prison. She appealed to King James, and to his credit, he settled her immediate debts and gave her a pension of £1,500 a year. James asked in return that her son should become a Catholic, but James was to be disappointed. Nell survived Charles by only two years and was only in her thirties when she died. She became a legend, the only royal mistress in English history to provoke popular affection. <laughs>